Doctors say 17% of Ukrainian soldiers wounded in Russia's war on their homeland have injuries that require high-tech treatment and solutions. This Neuro Rehabilitation Center near Kyiv is providing that according to its head doctor. It's funded by corporate and private Ukrainian donations, and doctors say it offers cutting-edge care in areas like kinesiotherapy and robotics. Founded in 2014 by a team of military physicians, the center's goal is to treat soldiers with severe injuries so they can be physically active again and return to a normal life. Fighters often come to our clinic with injuries to various parts of the body. One fighter may have a missing limb, but at the same time three others are not working. Often the presence of one prosthesis for our wounded patients does not decide their fate. They all need early technological rehabilitation. Kulik says that since 2014 the clinic has treated more than 12,000 soldiers. 29-year-old Pavlo Poznansky helped defend Mariupol. He was held by Russia until a much-publicized prisoner swap in September. He suffered five bullet injuries, one of which damaged his spinal cord and paralyzed the lower part of his body. After unsuccessful rehabilitation attempt at three different hospitals, he arrived here. I have not yet seen a better approach than in this center, and it gives results. The left leg has started to work. I can now bend and unbend it. I can sit, make some moves. The right leg also starting to respond a little. For Yaroslav Mudry, who has been defending Ukraine since 2014, the psychological care is also extremely important. Everyone should have rehabilitation, psychological of course, because not all people are adapted to combat. For example, it is easier for me because this is not my first combat action. The clinic psychiatrists say it is critical not to erase the soldier's experience, but rather help them come to terms with the trauma, recover and be ready to overcome future obstacles. While videotaping in the clinic, the power went out, as often happens as a result of Russia's war on Ukraine. But the wounded soldiers, like the clinic, carried on. Anna Chernikova for VOA News, Kyiv.